Hey guys, so today we're going to be making Lady Locks or Cream Horns if you've ever seen them like at Walmart or other grocery stores. They're so delicious. They've always been one of my favorite things, but I've never made them. So we're going to try to make them today. We're going to go ahead, what we're going to do is make our dough to wrap around our clothespin. So we'll start with that and see how that goes. These are the ingredients you'll need for the first part of our recipe. So first it says to put our butter in. It's supposed to be softened. So it's two cups of unsalted butter. I realized I didn't have quite enough butter, but I did have more setting out. So we'll see, I hope it's soft enough. So we're gonna mix our butter up. And then this is Crisco. It is yellow, but it's the butter flavored Crisco. Okay, so we're gonna mix that up. Our tablespoon of sugar. It says to do that for four minutes. Now we're going to add two egg yolks. Now we mix in four and a half cups of flour and one cup of cold water. Ah, <laughs> my helper. I'm about to go play some Minecraft. Okay, baby. Two. My home marriage. It's after one and a half years, I have cooked a and we've been married for 18 years and I didn't have a KitchenAid until a couple years ago so it was hand mixers and I had a really good Ham Hamilton Beach mixer I have to say that thing was amazing but this thing has revolutionized my life husband got it for me for Christmas. This is cold water and I'm going to go ahead and pour this in. Maybe it'll actually come together like it's supposed to now. So we'll put it in the fridge for a couple hours and be back. I ended up leaving the dough in the refrigerator overnight and I think that worked out pretty well. You're going to roll your dough out to an eighth of an inch. And you're going to cut it into strips that are a half inch wide and around 10 inches long. And then you wrap your foil covered clothes pins with your dough.
you're going to bake at 350 for around 15 minutes. You don't want to over bake them or they won't come off of the clothespins very well. Let them cool for two minutes and not much longer or they won't come off of the clothespins very well. Now you're going to make your cream and you can fill them with whatever you like but this filling that I made here that goes with this recipe is really really good. So this recipe is linked in the description and the cream recipe I actually halved it. So I did one cup of cold milk and I just did a half of the third cup of flour and then I did so you're just going to heat that over a medium heat and it says about 8 to 10 minutes or until it gets thick and you constantly want to whisk it Transfer it to another bowl and allow it to cool. And now you're going to add in your, I did one stick of butter and a half a cup of shortening and a half teaspoon of vanilla, a quarter teaspoon of salt. You're going to cream all that together and then add in your two cups of powdered sugar. If you're doing the whole recipe, just double those and it is linked down below. And once that's creamy, you can mix in your paste, your flour milk paste that you made into that and beat that. And you're just going to fill a piping bag or a Ziploc if you would rather use that. I went ahead and used a tip so it would get in the lady locks really well. And then you just fill your cookies. All right, Tori is going to try one. Okay. And she's going to tell us her honest opinion. So Tori. She's sick, so she's stuffy. Alright, Tori, give us your opinion. From a scale from one to ten, I'd say a solid eight. And an a eight. Half. For real? Are you sure? Eight and a half. Are you just hungry for sweets or are they really that good? They're really that good. Okay. I tasted them. They were pretty good. But as far as like Walmarts and stuff, it's a different taste than that. So it just depends on if you'd rather have this or that. I think they're they're quite a bit different from the ones from Walmart. All right, so that is 
Lady Lux. So right before you serve these, or if you're taking them somewhere, go ahead and do this, but sprinkle them with some powdered sugar. Make some pretty, and if you've ever had the little wedding cookies, kind of like that. They just need that little touch of powdered sugar on top. They're actually very tasty. Happy cooking!